If you browse social media, things like Instagram, maybe r slash battle stations on Reddit, once in a while you might see something like this. It looks like a little computer with a couple of mechanical keys and a light up screen. Well that's a pretty popular peripheral from a company called Devoom. They also make other products called the Pixu, the Pixu Max, and now this thing right here next to me, I've dropped my phone, this right here is the Pixu 64. And thankfully, Davoom was kind enough to send one out for a review. Look at it in all its glory. That's how many subscribers I have at the moment of recording this video. So let's make that number go up, huh folks? It retails for about $169.99, I believe. As of recording right now, I believe it's closer to $149. You can buy it on Pixu's website, you can buy it on Amazon. Of course, I'll have links in the description for you. And if you're looking at this and wondering, what is it? I'll tell you a little bit about it. It's an LED screen that you can use to display basically whatever you want to on the Devoom app. The Pixu 16 has a grid of 16 pixels by 16 pixels. The Pixu Max is 32 by 32. And the Pixu 64 is, you guessed it, 64 by 64. Inside the box includes instructions, a USB-C cable, and the Pixu itself. But no power brick. I kind of really hate that about some of these peripherals more and more like expense like if you're paying a bunch of money for an expensive peripheral and it doesn't include a power brick like I get that there's like the whole e-waste thing but it would just be nice if it included a power brick. That's all I'm saying. Especially because Pixu recommends not using like a 5 watt charger like you might have lying around from like an old iPhone or something. There's different ways you can mount it. You can wall mount it like a picture frame, which is what people kind of typically do. It's got threads on the top and the bottom in case you want to mount it to like a tripod or something. Or you take this little piece in the back and pop it out, put it right in this hole and shove it up in there. And you can stand it up like a little kickstand and that's what I'm doing here. It's not battery operated at all. You have to have it plugged in the entire time. So if you're planning to buy this to use and mount on your wall, just know that you're going to need that cable always plugged in. With the Devoom app, you need to connect to a Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz connection. It will not work on a five gigahertz, only 2.4. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with this thing on the Devoom app. You can set different GIFs and animations to your liking. There are tons and tons of community uploaded GIFs on there. Basically anything you can think of to search, you might find at least something. And the resolution is more than you would think. It's only 64 by 64, but it's pretty impressive what you find out there. It also does have some utility. It's got a clock. You've got YouTube stats, Twitch stats. So maybe if you've got it in the background of like your Twitch camera, like I kind of have here, that might be something cool you can throw in there. You've got stocks, Bitcoin, different kinds of cyber currencies and whatnot. You can even display game stats for Overwatch, Fortnite, League of Legends, sports scores, display stuff like your Spotify music, your Amazon music, and even an audio visualizer. It has a microphone built in so that it can do this thing that it's doing right here. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I think that's pretty cool. If you've got the artistic skill, you can make your own custom designs and it's pretty crazy what you can do with this thing. There is a lot that I can't even really get into because I certainly don't have the skill. But I mean, just look at all these different options for animations you can have displayed on this screen. Now, who is this for? Is it worth the price of at least around $150? Well, that's kind of up to you. Personally, if it were me, like all honesty, just because of how I am with spending my money, I wouldn't buy this. Not because I don't like it, not because it's not cool, but it's definitely a novelty. It's definitely a vanity item. All those different stats and clocks and social media stuff, all of that you can obviously look at on your smartphone and paying that much money just to display pixel art on your desk or your wall is obviously very much a luxury. It might spice up your setup, it might spice up the background of your, your maybe your YouTube videos or your streams. Definitely good for stuff like that. So I think really this is a pretty cool little device. If you've got the cash to burn for something like this, I think you're gonna enjoy it. Just know what you're getting into and know what you're spending the money on. Maybe wait for a sale if it's something that you don't wanna throw that much money at. They do also have the other options with the lower resolutions that I talked about a little bit. So that might also be something you can look into if that tickles your fancy. And tickle my fancy, this certainly does indeed. Speaking of tickling, I don't like where this is going. Make sure you tickle that subscribe button. Holy crap. What the heck was that? My light fell. That's okay. Make sure you tickle that subscribe button or just click it with a mouse or tap it with your finger if you're on a smartphone or a tablet. Because I got plenty more stuff in store for you guys to enjoy. Stuff like this, stuff not like this, etc. Tantalizing, I know. Make sure you also hit that like button if you like this video. Comment as well to let me know what you think of this. Is this something that you would pick up? Is this worth your money to you? 
Let me know. I'm really curious. I'm genuinely curious. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Here's a couple more videos you can check out if you'd like to. We really appreciate it. It does help the channel and uh, it helps me put a smile on my face to put on for you guys in any future videos. All right, I'm out of here.